What's up? It's your boy DJ Prime here with another video. Today we're doing a top 10 list, my top 10 songs of the week. Aya, let's go. As always, I'll leave links to all of these songs where you can listen to them for free in the description below. So at number 10, we have Lady Leisure, UK rapper featuring Wiley, Where Are You Now? Where are you now? Cause I can't see ya. Where are you now? I wouldn't wanna be ya. I'll be like, where are you now? Cause I can't see ya. Where are you now? I wouldn't wanna be ya. Where are you now? Where are you now? Now, this is a very nice song, very catchy. Not exactly a song that showcases her lyrical ability, but a good song nonetheless. So, moving swiftly forward, at number nine, we have Tiny Temper. Featuring the African young legend himself, Miss Kid, with Mama Sita. So this song really showcasing a love or tribute to all the sexy mamacitas out there. You know, a great song. Really like the South South American influence on it. Wizkid, as usual, the Hook King coming in with an amazing chorus, really linking the song together. Tiny Temper doing his thing. I think the production on this is very, very good. Um, a good song in the club once again. So moving on to number eight, we have the young man. Roy Woods. Now, I did a review of his album, Waking at Dawn, and this is a song off of his album, Menace. Take a listen. I don't wanna be a menace. I don't wanna be a menace to fuck up your mind again. So I'm guessing this song is really talking about how he doesn't want to pester the girl that he likes or the girl that he's with. Very smooth, very silky. It, it is a bit reflective. It makes you just want to be like, you know, really emotional. I think that's what OVO is good at doing in this Toronto sound, making you be in your feelings. Moving on to number seven. Now at number seven, we have a very interesting song. And this is actually a remix by Simi. Now Simi is a Nigerian vocalist. She has an amazing voice, and I really did enjoy this controller remix. It's one of the best. It is the best controller remix I've heard. Obviously, there's a remix by Tory Lanez and a number of people. I think this is actually so good. It's better than the original controller off of Drake's Views. Drake, um, I did a review of Drake's View here. View, Views? Controller, Drake featuring Simi, remix. You're making all these promises, you say you won't make. Tell me, say, you need me bad, oh, you know I like it Controller Man. Controller You can be my controller Controller F I So like I said, a very nice remix Simi's vocals really blend well with not just the instrumental But it really goes well as a duet with Drake's voice At number 6, sticking with Drake we have Making a Murderer by Joe Budden. Now, this is a diss track. So, disclaimer, if you are a Drake fan, I know I'm a huge Drake fan. Drake is like my favorite artist. But if you are a Drake fan, you probably won't like this. So you can skip ahead. But if you hate Drake, you're probably going to love this. Joe Budden, Making a Murderer Part 1. I'm right here per your request. Now you stuck in them shoes. No alliances with me can still fuck him too. Before we start, to the fans, I'm uncomfortable too. Stuck in the booth feeling like y'all cause I got love for the dude. But now my phone blowing up. They like what I'm gonna do. Show the world you shouldn't poke a man with nothing to lose. So as you've probably heard in that, you know, Joe Budden really giving a scathing diss towards Drake. Um, This song is very bass heavy, very... I'd say this song is more aggressive than back to back. It really wants to get you, you know, all aggressive and shit. Great lyrics on this thing. Joe Budden delivers some scathing bars towards Drake. Um, as a Drake fan, I can still appreciate it. And even on this track, Joe Budden talks about being a Drake fan himself. I do think this is a great track, a great diss track. I'm not sure if it was worth Joe Budden's making a diss track. A lot of people have said, you know, this is just, um, him looking for attention, even though he said he's not looking for attention, he just felt the need to address some of the things that Drake said on 4 p.m. in Calabasas. So at number five, we have Lindsay Abude with her song Drift Away. 
I'm gonna let you listen to this first before I go in. I once sang a beautiful song. It had me too much. It had me high. And now I'm crumbling down. So as I'm sure you've listened this is just a simply amazing song and it's by a simply amazing vocalist i did a review of her album earlier this week here um and the bass is queen i think she's an amazing vocalist her vocal style is something very unique and very soulful very soothing and i think she has great emotional delivery in her songs this is one of the songs that will appear on this top 10 list we have another song from her later on listen to her album her album is phenomenal from start to finish so at number four we have the boy schoolboy q featuring the god himself kanye west that part me no conversation with the fake that part all my bitches independent bitches that part I just want the paper, that part, all my bitches flavor, that part, that part, that part, that part, hey. Dope song, I do like Kanye's part, I like Schoolboy's Q part, I love the instrumental, everything on here is pretty good, pretty decent. So at number three, we have another, I don't know if I can say up and coming, or a newer Nigerian artist who's based in the UK, his name is Mologo, and we have his song Pankele on here. Everything I crank Everything I crank Life my time I crank Be yourself be crank Sound it so like I said, Mologo is a Nigerian artist, he is based in the UK, but listening to this song you can feel a lot of inspiration from Fela, I definitely got the Fela vibes on this song. His vocalization does remind me of Brimo, another Nigerian artist, and I think it's a dope song, a great song. Mologo is seeing a lot of success and I wish him more success, he is definitely talented and he is doing his thing, so more power to you Mologo. Number 2, Roy Woods back on the top 10 this song sonic boom the first song on his new album waking at dawn i drink alcohol in the fall in the summer when a time called my beer ice cold she knows doors and her heart just called I his ears I his ears, I his ears so i think this song is talking about a girl that isn't like nobody knows her but she has an ice cold heart this is another song to have in your feelings. Hypnotic bass line of this song. Really, really emotional song and I really enjoyed this. Not just this song, but the entire album. This will probably be my favorite song on the album. So you should definitely check it out. And now, our coveted number one position goes to Lindsay Abude with another phenomenal song, Freedom and I. I think this song is really convenient for the times we're in, especially with what's going on you know, in America, what's going on, all the death that has happened in the Middle East and Africa and everywhere. I think this is a song to really inspire and to really motivate us. Take a listen. My freedom and I, we were born to live together, men live and die, but a dream can live forever, the time is definitely definitely a more touching song um i think like i said earlier a song to really bring us together despite what has happened so that's it for my top 10 join me next week for another top 10 and i will be doing more top 10s i'll be doing top 10s on nigerian artists top 10 albums and things of that nature so please leave a like if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you're new around here my name is the judge prime i'll see you in the next video goodbye